Hey, welcome. We're in the middle of an Ajax demonstration and we're about ready to create this display details button. So before we start programming in Ajax, we need to make sure that we have the right files installed on our system. So let's go check out our dependencies using NuGet. So the key word that we're looking for is called jQuery unobtrusive. So I'm going to search for the word unobtrusive and make sure that it's installed. So it does say here that it is installed. Uh, just in case it's not working, I'm going to uh, ins uninstall it and then reinstall it. So I'm just verifying that this is here. So let's select the Ajax uh, uh, jQuery unobtrusive and choose install using the latest. Okay, so that seems to be verified. I can close NuGet. So next let's switch over into the layout file and add some dependencies or some scripts at the top of our page. So let's jump into the scripts folder as well and expand to see what we have installed. Well you can see that the unobtrusive Ajax is here so I'm going to just drag this into the header area and it will automatically include a script. We are also going to need the jQuery plugin as well so let's go to the latest that I have installed. So just dragging them in gives us these two imports. Now let's go back into the customer view and let's make some modifications. So this is the non-Ajax view. I'm going to modify this so let's make a copy of what I have created so far and keep it for backup. So I'll right click copy and then paste so that I have a backup. So I'll rename my project file here as customer no Ajax so it's obvious of what this thing does. At the very top of the page, I'm going to add a new reference to something called Ajax Options. And so Ajax Options is a class that's built in here, and we're going to put some re preferences in here to allow us to figure out what we want to do with it. So the first option for Ajax is to handle the form request. Is it going to be a get or a post? Well, I'm just going to choose post. And then the next item is called the insertion mode. So what is an insertion mode? Well, we are going to update a partial page, and we can do several things with it. We can add to the page, or we can replace what's already there. And so what I'm looking for for my option is called the replace. The last option for Ajax options is going to be to tell it which part of the page is going to be partially replaced. And so at the very bottom of the page where we have customer info, this is why I created a div with an ID tag on it. So the item that we're looking for is called update target ID and we have to have letter for letter exactness to make sure that this is working. So customer info is the name of my ID at the bottom of the page. Now the next item that I'm going to upgrade here is line 14. So instead of doing an HTML for begin form we're going to say Ajax begin form and so this will look for an Ajax request instead of a full form submit. Now you can see that it's expecting me to do something else in this uh, form now. And the third thing that it's missing are the Ajax options. So the, uh, the object that I just defined in the previous lines will include here on the Ajax uh, method. Okay, so you think the application is ready to go? Uh, not quite. It's pretty close, but I've made several errors and I'm going to show you each one of them and how to diagnose them. So first of all, Let's go ahead and pick somebody. So I'm going to select Elijah and display the results. Well, we've got kind of what we wanted. We have a partial page update, but I get the entire page again. So what happens if I choose Howard and display? Well, I get Howard selected below, but obviously this isn't quite what I want. So let's return and fix a few things. So the problem is probably occurring here in the custom controller, customer controller. So what I want to return now in this method is not a full view. I want to return a partial view. So I'm going to put in the word partial and sure enough partial view is an option. So the word customer is now the wrong thing. I'm not in updating the entire page which as you can see what I was getting earlier. I want to just do part of the page. So the part that I'm looking for is this section here called customer details. Well let's go ahead and update the this item here. So let's go underscore customer details. And now this is going to break something so we'll be uh, careful about that. 
Also, you notice here that the uh, the method type up here is should be uh, the word post. So let's put in HTTP post, and that's what the uh, action should be expecting. All right, well, let's check this out now. So now I'm going to return a partial view, and it's not going to display the whole page. This still won't work, but we'll find out another error in a second. All right, the application's up and running again. Let's pick somebody and choose display results. I get nothing. What's wrong? There's no errors on the page, or are there? Let's check it out inside of the inspection. So right click, choose inspect, and then in your uh, console over here, you're looking for something called network, okay? So network tells you what's going on inside of your code. Let's go ahead and uh, try this again. So I'm going to select Howard this time and display results. Now you can see that the network tells me that the on select customer has a status of 500. So 500 error in web language means the programmer did something wrong. Well, that's you, so let's fix it. We can see the error if I select here and click it. Aha, now I see some information that I can work with. So it says we have the wrong model passed into the uh, this uh, view. It says uh, you sent me this tuple and the partial view is only expecting a customer. Aha, we can fix that. So let's come back down into here and notice instead of sending the entire tuple, we want to send just this section right here, which is the last or it's the customer that's selected. So that might be a lot help, more helpful. So let's see if that works now. So we're going to ahead and run it again. Okay, the application's running. Here it is. Drum roll, please. Let's go with and pick Dane and choose display details. Hooray! We've got ourselves Dane and the age 24 down at the bottom. Now, is it actually doing the partial updates? So you can see that the time that I loaded the page was 11, uh, 2 11 58 seconds. And every time I click display results, the time at the bottom changes, but the time at the top remains the same. So that means that this page down here is partially updated whenever I click display details and then the part at the top of the page is left static. What's the advantage? Well, a smaller f a page refresh obviously takes less time and less server traffic. And so that's a great way to make your pages more efficient. If I choose the uh, refresh for the entire page, the time here now matches the time at the bottom. And so the partial pages here are only working for this section here. So congratulations, you've got Ajax working. We're going to do one more video to fix up some things. What I want to do next is that when I select a Dane or Elijah, this section down here automatically updates and the display details button then becomes irrelevant. Also, let's do some CSS work to make this look a lot better. That's coming up in the next video.